Hey everyone, I have some exciting news for Toronto Maple Leafs fans. Our prospect Ben Danford has been named the new captain of the Oshawa Generals. Ben is a talented young player, selected in the first round of last year's draft, and we were hoping he'd have a training camp full of opportunities to grow. Unfortunately, he suffered a concussion in early September, which limited his chances to shine. It's a shame, as no one expected him to be ready to fight for a spot on the Leafs' blue line so soon. Still, it must have been disappointing not to get a bigger chance to prove his worth. Now, after being loaned back to the Oshawa Generals, he has a new mission ahead. He was already an alternate captain last season, and now he leads the team as they gear up for the much-anticipated run to the Memorial Cup next spring. This is quite a task, especially considering that he joins a list of great hockey names, like John DeVars and Eric Lindros, who also wore the C for the Generals. Ben isn't alone on this journey. The Generals have bolstered their team with the arrival of promising talent Colby Barlow and Callum Ritchie, who's still attending NHL training camp. We'll have to keep an eye on things, as they might all be called up to Team Canada's World Junior roster this Christmas, which would be a challenge for the team during that period. The Leafs chose Danford with the 31st overall pick after some strategic trades, and now it's clear that, even though he was seen as a bold choice, there are high expectations for him in the coming seasons. His defensive style may not draw as much attention as a forward's, but he has the skills and characteristics that show he could be a great leader in the future. So, what do you think about this new phase for Danford? Will he shine as captain and lead the generals to success? I'm rooting for him. We're just days away from the new season, starting on October 9th, and things are heating up with the team. The new coach, Craig Berube, came in with energy and is already making big changes to the roster. Recently, rumors have emerged that the team is considering trading Timothy Liljegren, one of our defensemen who, despite signing a two-year, $6 million contract, hasn't quite found his place in the lineup. But what's really going on? Well, it seems the team is dealing with salary cap challenges, which has led to pressure to make some important roster changes. Many speculate that by cutting Liljegren's $3 million cap hit, the team could gain the flexibility needed to bring in new talent, like Max Pacioretty. This makes sense, considering the need to strengthen the team, but it's tricky. How do you feel about the possibility of seeing Liljegren leave the team? I know he has many fans since he was a first-round pick, and that weighs on the decision. According to Jonas Siegel of The Athletic, the option to trade Liljegren was already on the team's radar even before his new contract. This leaves a cloud of uncertainty over his role and how he'll be used this season. Recently, during practice, we saw Connor Timmons standing out more on defense, while Liljegren trained with the extras. This already sends a signal that things aren't easy for him. Coach Berube made some tough comments, saying Liljegren needs to be faster and more intense in his plays. He mentioned the importance of simplifying his game, suggesting that maybe his style doesn't align with Berube's vision for the team. What do you think about this? Should the team invest in Liljegren's talent and hope he adapts to the new style of play? Or would it be better to trade him for someone who fits better in the system? It's a complicated topic and certainly stirs up strong emotions among fans. Toronto has a rich hockey tradition and every move can have a big impact on the team's future. And that brings us to the end of another emotional discussion about our beloved Toronto Maple Leafs. What's happening with Ben Danford and Timothy Liljegren certainly makes us reflect on the team's future. Danford takes on an important role as captain of the Oshawa Generals, and we all want to see him shine. 
and lead his team to victory at the Memorial Cup. At the same time, the uncertainties surrounding Liljegren's future in defense leave many of us anxious. The dynamics of professional sports are full of ups and downs, and the way the Leafs handle these situations could shape what's to come. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the choices the team is making? Will Danford stand out as a leader? And how do you feel about the possible changes on defense? Feel free to leave your comment. Your ideas are always welcome. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on all the latest news. We're here to share every exciting moment of our beloved team. Let's follow this journey together, hoping the best decisions are made for the Leafs.